this is actually a really crazy industry and I was like am I gonna be strong enough to handle the pressure because it's kind of hard sometimes even if you admire some script you might not be right for the part and that might destroy you I'm Maria Bakalova and this is On The Rise. When I was six years old, I wanted to do something with music. I wanted to be a rock star or something like that because my dad was obsessed with Led Zeppelin or Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that's how I started my path with the music. But when I was probably 12, 13 years old, I was like, okay, what else we can do? So that's how I decided that I want to be an actor because I wanted to like live different lives, one day to be here, the other day to be on the moon. My first professional role was at my first Bulgarian movie, Transgression, um, when I was 19 and I was casted by the director and the producer for a few scenes, which were kind of extreme actually, and then I got it and my love for with cinema became even stronger. My family has always been behind my back. A lot of people have been growing up around people from this industry and I had nobody. But they've been always with me, supporting me, and I think they might be happy now. The casting for Borat was actually even more secretive than shooting the movie because when you're shooting the movie, you're around real people, so it's not actually that huge of a secret. Uh, but the casting was like basically we have this huge project we're searching for Eastern European or person with accent which is actually incredible for the, my fellow Eastern Europeans actors but it was without the script without what is the studio behind basically nothing so it was really secretive but then I went to England and I met Sasha and all of this magic started the first time when I realized that I had the role of Tuta was probably when they asked me what I'm doing next month do I want to go to America it wasn't like the typical call you got the job uh, it's you it was basically traveling me again to England for some prosthetics tests because at the beginning it was like we might put something on your face or blah, blah, blah but thanks God we had the greatest makeup artist Katie Frey who made all of the changes so it was kind of a weird situation because I was more sure that I got the job after I get back here for the second time. We started testing with real people um, from the first day of screen tests in England when I met Sasha in person and we were with the sweetest uh, couple. Probably my last audition was, am I going to be able to handle a scene alone? like? Is, are these people gonna believe that I'm a real person or they might be like, oh, this is an actor. So they let me leading few scenes with few different people by myself. And I was so stinky because I created a smell that it was like vinegar and uh, old eggs and oil and that kind of things. And at the end I was trying to hug them. That was pre-COVID. And they never realized that I'm an actor. So it was kind of okay, I think. The night of the release, I went to see my incredible producer, Monica Levinson, and two other of her friends and have like a small secret premiere. And the next day, like my whole Instagram, my whole mail, my whole, all of my messages were exploding because I never mentioned in front of anybody, even my closest friends or relatives or parents even, what I'm working on, what is it about. Even when they released the trailer, we, we didn't use me speaking so people wasn't that sure is that maria uh she's blonde is that her and everybody was like what you shot this crazy project in in secret how is that possible and in the middle of a pandemic and it was crazy but i was happy with the result because people i have a feeling they are ready for standing up against misogyny and against subjugating women because we should not live in a patriarchy world we should all be equal and support and love each other and be kind and i'm happy the most amazing thing that happened uh, after the release of the movie was i mean every single day is amazing um but maybe signing with caa because I feel my team as part of my family. And also all of this incredible 
awards, honors, honors and all of the messages that I'm receiving from people, how their hopes has never been stronger, that things are that are possible and especially actors from my region of the world can get there, the borders are somehow open, it's, it's just like the biggest present. I'm not quite sure that I made it because you can always go higher, you can always go bigger, you can always like teach yourself more, you can always explore more, you can always develop more. So I definitely cannot say that I made it, but I, I made the first step, I think, for my life in this world. And I will keep going until the rest of my life. I'm not sure that I have a dream role because I'm more passionate about projects just in general that have strong messages and all of my previous characters that I've played in my entire life has been stories of strong women, how we can overcome anything because women are strong and beautiful just the way they are. And I was strongly influenced by Danish cinema for maybe six years of my life. So in my heart, there was always be plays for Thomas Wintenberg and Lars von Trier and Susanne Beer. Just people that have messages, stories to tell in a beautiful way that they're telling the story because maybe that's it. You ha you need three incredible things for have the great beginning. Good script, good script, and good script. And from then, if you have the great team, you're making it. In five years, I'm gonna be almost 30. I definitely wanna be busy as hell. Uh, but at the same time, of course, I wanna be surrounded by people that I love, maybe my future husband. Who knows? I mean, five years are such a long time ahead. So just let's stay healthy and overcome this um, crazy pandemic that we are living in. And we will see what is gonna happen.